Good day, everyone. We had a dilly of a storm pickup last night and this morning. I guess it was the tailwind of the, uh, the hurricane in um, New Orleans. It's funny because when we had the other actual um, storm that we were all concerned about, we didn't even lose power. And then, without any warning, the heavy rains came last night. But it was actually quite nice because it wasn't much wind and then suddenly just buckets and buckets of rain. And it's been a pretty dry week, so having the rain was perfect. And it's just sprinkling now, just sort of spitting down now, but well, he's on. Beach before me. Shores to beachcomb. Days going by. And as I mentioned in my last video, which was Geez, a couple of weeks possibly. I've just been uh, sort of unplugged a bit. But here we are, the 2nd of September. And just wondering what the autumn and the winter will hold. And there's one of my compatriots this morning, a blue heron, doing his morning hunt. Oh, my chatter has chased him away. You see if I'm quite quiet, and I'm not talking to a camera, when I come down of a morning for my beach comb. If I'm quiet enough, they will just ignore me for the most part. But there he alighted on the stone to hunt over there. But still, isn't that a lovely picture with a mist over the hills in the distance? And the sea, rather calm, but that lovely leaden gray color I so love. And the sky, which was dark and heavy with rain just an hour ago. Now the wind is blowing the clouds away. And even though we have the soft wind blowing across the seagrass, making the sailboats halyards clang upon the mast. It looks to be a nice, quiet, lovely September day. So I will probably just do some beachcombing. But I need to uh, start posting more, and I think I'm just going to post more short videos just to get back into the swing of it. And uh, I've been busy with art, and uh, working on sketching and things, and I think to, I thought today I would do a, a sketch inspired by the first thing I come across, and I realize these, this, well, we call it seaweed, but technically this is a type of algae that actually, I believe it's called codmium. I have to look up my Latin. It's also called dead man's fingers <laughs> because of how the uh, fingers look like, the uh, tendrils look like bloated fingers of the drowned. But I guess this is actually not a native to the East Coast. Um, it wasn't until the 50s that it started really showing up. I think it actually somehow made its way from uh, England and uh, Europe to us. But of course, I have always remember it. <laughs> but it's prevalent. We see it so often. It's actually edible. You can eat it in salads. You can cook it up. And what I love about it is uh, you fill buckets full of it, rinse off the salt and let it set for about two or three weeks. It makes the most horrible smell, but the best, best fertilizer for your garden. And you can see as it isn't a, a true plant, so it's not a seaweed, it's a algae. See how it hooks two things like this uh, shell, scallop shell? But that just makes it all the more beautiful. And even though I see it all the time, I just think it's lovely. So I think maybe today's drawing will be inspired by the dead man's finger, whom I see so often on my beach combing. And there's the carcass of a crab. Oh no, actually I think. Oh, yeah. Just the shell of a crab. So, this short video, to get back into the habit of videos, 
and I had meant to have my first video be uh, the lovely sunny sky and the crisp blue waves <laughs> but then last night the storm hit and so here we are September with rain and cool air I'm even wearing a woolly jumper right now which is lovely which is odd because two days ago it was so warm but today it's starting to feel that weather I so love overcast skies perfect weather for long skirts trailing in tall grasses All right, let's get on with the video. So for today's sketch, I did say I was inspired by our bit of seaweed slash sea algae but of course I can't help but start out with animals so considering uh, what I want to draw I decided to embark on a pair of French Bulldogs and in my usual way um, we start with funny shapes and various lines to end up with our two dogs but now how will I tie the seaweed in? Well, we shall see, I guess. Um, mainly I've just been, uh, I've really had dogs on the brain of late as well, just because this is the first time in my life where I've been dogless. Um, I lost my last uh, dog, my sweet chihuahua, last year. And uh, prior to that year, I also had a darling Italian greyhound. And so we lost her that year. So it's been some time since I've had a dog companion and so I'm still debating if I want to uh, go down that road again and uh, so in the interim I keep thinking of all the different types of dogs that I like so here we see that a pair of French Bulldogs have my mind uppermost so as you can see I like to sketch and then uh, because I sketch digitally I have multiple layers so the layer that has my shapes uh, can be on one layer and then the layers that have my other bits can be there and here you can see how I've added in the seaweed and uh, As I'll probably be adding the color tomorrow. I figure today I'll share with you how I'll give my sketch and pencil some interest to put on the thumbnail of this video So I just took the sketch which was just black and white took it into Photoshop and gave it a lovely blue circular background just to uh, make it interesting. And so this will be on the thumbnail for this video, which of course you've probably already seen. So tomorrow I will begin adding color to the sketch and you can see how the seaweed plays its role in the background. I've really been toying with doing um, plants from the garden and uh, plants from the sea, <laughs> sea treasures mingled with pets and uh, animals of late. So I think we'll be seeing a lot of such sketches. Well, thanks for joining me. For today's sketch. Well I hope you enjoyed this short little video and my uh, fun drawing inspired by the beach find of the uh, dead man's fingers seaweed slash sea algae. Here I'm standing on our terrace showing off uh, some of my grapes which are yet to ripen but I need to uh, put bags on those little cloth bags because as soon as they start to ripen the birds have most of them so I'll probably leave half for the birds and a half for us. I'd really like to try dehydrating some this autumn to see if I can make some lovely uh, homemade raisins. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short little video and I'm hoping now as we, as the summer wanes and as we begin to look towards autumn that I can start posting again. So the passing storm has left us, but the sky is still thick and low 
with blue and gray clouds. And as always, I'm inspired by the colors of the sea, the blues, the grays, and the greens. So thank you for joining me here today. And uh, I shall see you when I post again, which hopefully shouldn't be too far off. <laughs> and until then, uh, remember, stay creative. Cheers. <laughs>